have to, oops, sorry. It was squirting out a little bit of fluid right there. So. Okay, now we have uh, Damien here. Hi, Damien. Hi, back. You're back. I know Hi, we've man. featured him in the past. He's the unbelievable ultra marathon guy. He did uh, what, 100 miles, is it? 100 miles. miles. And, yeah, yeah you just it. finished it? Yes. I yeah. Two days ago. On Sunday. Two days ago, yeah. So, and then unfortunately, he developed these huge blisters. You can see these blisters right here. There's one on top here, there's one right here. This toe, you got a blister right underneath the nail. I don't want to take the whole nail out because we may be able to save it so that the new nail can grow out. We can drain this. I already kind of numbed them here so that we're going to drain that. Also, another one right here. This is the worst one right here. You can see that there's a really bad blister here, but this whole nail probably needs to come out. This is really tender right along this whole area that uh, it's all embedded here with the blister underneath the nail. So this probably nail needs to come out, this one. Okay, so let's see how we can drain some of these things. Let's try this one first. This one didn't have to be numb because blister is usually not painful to drain. So I didn't numb that one, so I'll do this very carefully. So tell me about the experience this time. I know it wasn't as pleasant this time. It was in Florida and it was freezing, right? You were telling me? It was, yeah, it was cool for, I guess, for, you know, for, for Florida's weather. It was a little bit chilly. Was, we started in, uh, right, really just uh, west of Jacksonville, Florida. So it was mm -hmm. a point-to-point -point run from Atlantic Beach to Daytona Beach, Florida. Mm -hmm. That's 100 miles? 100 miles. Wow. And so it's, you know, completely flat. Uh -huh. oh, okay. And on the surface, it sounds pretty easy. No hills, so it's going to be easy. But the problem is you're running on pavement the whole way. A lot of pavement, just, huh? It takes its toll, you know. Yeah, it's pretty road. hard, huh? Just very hard surface. The last three and a half miles were on the beach. So. Oh, really? That, that must be nice. But by that time, you're, by that time you're, 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 you're not even thinking about the beach. You're not, you're not thinking about the beach. You're just trying to find the finish line. Right, right. So, yeah. And then it was really cold, you were saying. At night, it, it, you know, it, it, so it's funny because I did layer up, and uh, in, in the daytime, it started Saturday morning, it was really chilly, and then mm. it warmed up to probably close to 70 Saturday afternoon. It was really? almost too warm. I was mm -hmm. perspiring maybe a little bit too much, and then it dropped. Once the sun went down, it went down into the 40s. 40s, wow, so that's kind of cold. It was chilly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give me just a second, David. I need to explain to people. So. I drained the top one, the bottom one's still draining. You always go to the edge of it to drain. I know some of you are trying to drain your own um, blisters, so you don't want to do it in the center because that can get infected. So you go to the corner of, on the sides of the uh, blister and then make a little puncture there and then you can drain it out. You want to keep the top cover on because we still want to keep it sterile. So we don't want to unroof this whole thing and that can be exposed to having some kind of infection. So we don't want that. So I usually have them soak this area afterward, put some antibiotic cream on it and a Band-Aid. Usually, you know, handles pretty well. As you can see, the, all the um, fluids are drained right now. So that's where we are right now, okay? And then let's go to the big toe now. Uh, let me uh, put a little tourniquet here to, uh, you're numb now, right? Yes. Okay, so put a little tourniquet so that I don't want any blood mixed with this whole thing. So I'm gonna to try to puncture through this and then drain a little bit there and see what there you go, see? There's a lot of fluid already there. I have to make it a little bit bigger. So usually we don't wanna take the nail off like this because then, then you don't have a good base for the nail to grow back. We need a little guide for the new nail to grow out. So we try not to take this big nail out if we don't have to, then it will able to have a pretty decent looking nail after, oops, sorry. It was squirting out a little bit of fluid right there. So now it's still coming through, as you can see. Still got a quite a bit of drainage it's still coming. Oh, you had a lot in there, Damien. Wow. Yeah, you had a lot in there. So this whole nail may fall off on its own, okay. but at least it would have a good base to bring out the um, new nail. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit more, but I think it's, it looks pretty good. So, 
story. I know we haven't finished the story yet, but yeah, so it was. I think all the fluids are out now. Yeah, it looks pretty good right now. Let me do one more time to make sure. Yeah, you can see that the whole thing is all connected. Yeah, you have a little bit more fluid there. I think it should be fine after soaking this. I think it looks good right now. I think whether it's going to survive the... Do a little bit more probing there to make sure all the fluid's gonna come out. Oh, you had more in there, Damien. Oh boy. Yeah, you had more fluid in there, see? So you have one more than I thought you would have. See, it's all opened up all the way down here, you see? So, yeah, I still wanna keep the nail on it so that you have a new nail growing and it's gonna look nicer when it pushes through. I guess if it's gonna be a problem and from later on, then we can take the nail out. But for now, I think I, we should. I can feel that just a little bit. Oh, really? Just okay. a little bit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done now. Okay, so that one's done. So we're gonna put this one now. And then come around here, so. A little bit red, and this was the most troublesome one. So that was the one that was screaming. Yeah, it was yeah. really painful, huh? Every step. Yeah. So what, what do you think happened? Was the shoes not fitting properly, or? Well, you know what? I changed shoes at mile 50, and oh, you did. I thought, I thought it was a great. It seemed like for the next 10 to 15 miles, it was a great decision because uh -huh. things seemed to calm down, and then uh -huh. boom, hit you like a. Started yeah. having pain again. Then it started to really. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And then you, you were telling me they usually have a like a manager or entourage following you, right, with the ultra marathon. But you didn't have one. You're you're all by yourself. So yeah, I went solo. I had a man. So a lot of people have crews that have. So they'll they'll be there. They have a van. They can sit down. Uh -huh. They'll massage them. Give them whatever you know. Check check for. Uh -huh. Give them soft shoes. Yeah, they you got a whole crew there, and I mm -hmm. just have to basically carry whatever I need. I so you, put drop bags at aid stations, but um, that's always a, when you're doing a point to point, uh -huh. you know, it's a real gamble. You don't know when you're going to uh, need anything. Yeah. You know, when you're doing like loops, it's easy because you can just leave something and know you're going to come back to that same spot. So oh, I not, see. But this was not a loop. This was just, just one way. Half, one way, the whole way. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So as it turned out, um, I tried to carry the, some of the essentials, but. Um, oh, you, you're like a backpack? You're. Yeah. Running with it? Yeah. Oh wow, <laughs> that's a, that's kind of hard. Wow, so I'm feeling that. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Okay, let me give you a little bit more anesthesia. Yeah, it's really. We're gonna have to stop here a little bit and get some more anesthesia. Okay. Okay, so we had a little break there because we ran out of anesthesia. So I numbed it up again and I put a little tourniquet on it because we have to take this nail out. As you can see, this whole thing is completely like lifted up. As you can see, this nail is not even together by now. So I need to just free this up and take this nail out. And then I'm gonna be good. As you can see, you can see that whole nail coming off like that. Yeah. It's barely, barely dangling right here. And he was having a lot of pain right in this area. Okay, so Damien, back to your race. Yeah. So you were by yourself, soloing it out. Yeah. Didn't have your crew. <laughs> yeah. You need to recruit somebody. <laughs> so, you know, you t I mean, I found a couple of, uh, you know, great guys I was running with. But, you know, after a while, uh -huh. yeah, they started that. to get tired. And so, um, you know, I said, I'm going to go on by myself. Oh, really? Oh, okay. And, uh, so... I ran the first, if I say the first half of the race, I ran with a couple of guys. I just ran, you know, I just met along the way. And then mm -hmm. the last half, I ran alone. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Yeah. Did, did so the other guys finish? No, they didn't. They, they didn't finish? Finished. Wow. So how many people get to finish and how many people don't there finish? Probably, I think about a third dropped out. Is that right? Wow. Yeah, it's a... yeah you know, you, it's just everything can be fine. And, you know, it, it can, everything can go downhill so quickly. Yeah. Um, 
Um, you don't know. It could be, you know, your stomach or fatigue uh -huh. or injury. Uh -huh. um, it, it's like it's like our class, the one third didn't finish the school. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we're just gonna wrap it up. He's gonna start soaking it. So while you're back in one piece, you look you still look great. Thank you, Doctor. Yeah, so next time hope you recruit people. I don't know if yeah. it's gonna be next time. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. See. Maybe well, one more of it. I think I think you need to get some crew and if then it, and then you should go. If it is it'll be a trail for sure. No okay. more No ones. more. Okay, well. <laughs> very good. Welcome back and Thank you, uh, We'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Okay.